Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'm Megan from Organized Little Lady and today I am so excited to share my planner picks for 2021. Okay, so if you haven't already watched my last week's planner video, I will leave that linked in the description box below. But basically in that video, I shared with you my planning process and system for 2020 and the pros and cons within that system. Now, one thing that I really wanted to uh, focus on for 2021 was streamlining my planning process a bit. So I think after a lot of thinking and contemplating, I have found a planning system that I'm excited to work in for 2021. Okay, so first up is my main planner. This is where I plan out my year at a glance, I plan out my month, I plan out my monthly goals, and then each week. And that is going to be the Erin Condren Hourly Planner. So I will do a whole planner setup video once I have everything set up for the new year. But right now I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about why I chose these planners and how I intend on using them. So the reason why I chose this planner as my main planner was because I felt like it had everything I needed but without all the extra frills. Now I have been using the Mom on the Go Planner from InTheLeafyTreeTops.com for years. And one of the main reasons why I love that planner so much was because it had so many extra planning pages. However, I felt like this past year, I really didn't utilize those pages much at all. And I really wanted to look for a planner this year that just had the planning pages that I really utilize. So that is basically an area that I can see my year at a glance and plan ahead of it. I also utilize the monthly spreads as just an overview for what's going on in our month. I also do our monthly budget in the monthly spread. And I will continue using the monthly dashboard pages for my goal setting and breaking down my goals. So if you are not familiar with my goal setting process, basically what I do is at the beginning of the year, I choose priorities that I want to focus on and set goals within those priorities month to month. So I list those goals broken down by priority here in this section. And then I take my goals and I separate them into two different categories, a project list and a habit list. And that basically ensures that I get my goals accomplished for the month. And then I use this um, area down here for me time. So being intentional with how I want to spend my extra time with self care or just doing the things that I enjoy like reading. So I really loved using this page last year in my Erin Condren Daily Duo, and I knew this was something I wanted to incorporate into this year's planning system as well. So I'm excited to have this incorporated in my main planner this year. I also need a spot where I can plan out my week at a whole. And one thing I didn't like last year was that although I had a weekly planner, I felt like I was repeating myself a lot because I then had my Erin Condren Daily Duo, which was broken down in a scheduled format. So it just seemed a little redundant, like I was writing things down twice um, and I just wanted to tweak that a bit this year. So the reason why I chose the hourly planner was because seeing my days broken down in a scheduled format really worked well for me. This year has been crazy for all of us. And as most of you know, our days can change drastically from day to day. So being able to see each day in a scheduled format was extremely helpful for me. And I knew that was something I wanted to incorporate into this year's planning system. So I really like that I did choose the hourly layout because I think that will kind of kill two birds with one stone, if you will. I have my week planned out as a whole, but I also have that scheduled format for each day in one layout. So there are still some areas that I wanted to keep separate, um, such as my work calendar. I do really like having a separate area to write down to-do lists for each day. And I also really wanted to have a meal planning system that I could incorporate into my planning system for this upcoming year. And for my overall yearly goals, I felt like I had a really great system for my month to month goals, but overall seeing the big picture and what I wanted to accomplish within that year, I felt like I needed a better system. So I think I have come up with a solution for all of those and that is the Erin Condren Petite Folio System. I am so excited to dive into this. I actually already have started working in it and it's already working out really well for me. The reason why I really like this is because I have four different books in here 
and they are exactly what I need to keep those different areas of my life separate and organized but it's all compact in this small little folio. So it is much more manageable than my planner stack last year. This is what I'm working with this year, just my main planner and my folio system. I feel like I could easily take this on the go with me. And overall, I think it's just going to work a lot better. So I will again do a whole setup video of my planner folio, but I basically just wanna tell you what I have in here um, and how I'll be using it a bit. So this is just an insert that I got uh, to keep some extra stickers. The and first whatnot. book that I chose was the customizable daily agenda. And I love that this is undated because I don't necessarily need to write down um, work lists or home lists or to-do lists every single day. So I love that it's available for me um, when I need it but it's not dated, so I'm not wasting pages. I'm not necessarily tied down to having to use this every single day. The next book that I chose in here was the monthly customizable calendar, and the reason why I chose the customizable calendar for this was basically I wanted to start working in it right away, and I am going to be using this as my work calendar. So I basically just write down all of my work tasks throughout the month, and then there's quite a few note pages in the back that I can use. The next also. book that I have in here is the Erin Condren Meal Planner. And I'm really excited to use this because it has a spot to plan out your breakfast, lunch, and dinners for each week. And I think this is going to be really helpful for me as I continue on my weight loss journey. Having a place to just plan ahead all of my meals in one spot will really help me stay focused and on back of what I need to be eating throughout the week. And last but not least, I have the Erin Condren Goal Setting Journal in here. And this is going to be where I put all of my year at a glance goals, like my end goal. And that will kind of help me stay focused on what I need to do month to month in order to reach these main. So that's a look at my planner picks for 2021. And like I said, once I have them completely set up for the new year, I will be sure to do a planner setup video for you guys. But I'm really excited to work in this new planner system for 2021. I think it's going to be much more streamlined for me and really focused on what I need to be planning for my yearly, monthly, weekly, and then my work tasks, lists, and so on. So I'm really excited to dive into this planner system. I'm really curious to see what planners are you guys picking for 2021. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.